Hello everybody, my name is Toby Chimp, it's lovely to have you here for another episode of Croc. It's been a long time, ladies and gentlemen. I am sorry for the absence, but uh, God, I don't, I don't really want to press start level right now. Let me tell you something before I, before I jump in here, and apologies for making you stare at this menu screen right here. I have been practicing, and when I say practicing, I mean dying constantly on this one level off camera just to see what I'm dealing with because obviously it's been a while since I played for about an hour and a half maybe going on two hours I am not joking it's the dumbest platforming ever I suck at platforming however I think I've got the strategy down it all comes down to to speed essentially and that's what I'm gonna go for I can also tell you that if I do make it through this level all four sections of it, hopefully about dying at all, but then I have some good news. The level directly afterwards is the final boss. It's not it's not the final final boss, like there's a, there's a true ending if you will, which I will talk about when I get there, but I assume I get through this quick enough and I deal with the final boss well enough, we're gonna see end credits. It would be like the the pseudo end to this series so I mean what a way to come back right finish the series finish the game but I don't want to count my chickens just yet those chickens can stay uncounted as as of right now I do not know how many chickens I've got I don't care I don't want to think about the number I know the chickens there that's that's all that matters so that section of the game or the level is easy this section is again it's easy I shouldn't struggle on it I don't think I died in this one when I was kind of practicing the level however you know <laughs> there's always time you know it, it could always happen but I'm getting my best to try and just be smart here take my time I think for this level like on the whole you just gotta know when to rush and when to take your time for this section level and the last bit we just did it's definitely a case of taking your time and just knowing your moment. However, for the following two, or three maybe I think, it's kind of just go as soon as you can and just hope that you survive. I don't know if there's RNG to how these platforms move at times. It seemed like it, I, I, honestly, I sat there on... I sat there on certain levels just observing the platforms for ages to see if there's a pattern and honestly it seemed random it really did and I was just like I how am I supposed to how am I supposed to predict this how can I judge when to go but I, I got there in the end I'm just I'm, I'm gonna ignore that death there it didn't happen all right it, it did not happen you know I was rushing a little bit I played this level so much when trying to beat it that my thumb is legit sore right now from pressing the jump button so often it hurts which is also like a, another excuse I'm gonna employ should I fail to do it on this run I kind of want to kill myself twice already just to continue and get the extra life because I'm gonna need it for the, the latter parts of this level but anyway that's I guess that's enough about the uh, strategy as such this one caused me way too much trouble than it should have and I don't necessarily know why because it's not that difficult but I, I couldn't get past this level for probably <laughs> almost half there probably half an hour or so and I was pulling my hair out thinking why am I finding this so difficult it's like the simplest thing see easy 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 peasy lemon squeezy all right there's so many platforms here you can look at. Honestly, just go. Just go. And when the platforms line up for you, you take your chance. That's the advice I can give you if you're playing this for some reason. Just just take your chances and go. Don't try and take your time too much. Don't try and work it out because you won't. You won't. Just go. It all kind of works out on its own. We'll get this. This is the only kind of scary part of this particular segment. Is this platform here? What I'm going to wait for it to do is to go up, and it's going back down again, and then it's going to flip spike side up, 
and then spikes go back down and that's my jump on it. That's my cue to go and that's how we finish this segment. See, I know what it's doing. That's how often I've been through this section trying to complete it. It's sad, really. It really is. At this point, I could do a walkthrough of this game, or at least this one level, because I've done it that many times. Ignore Again, ignore the fact that I died earlier on. Again, loads of platforms. Just, just go. When you can go, go. Don't look ahead of them and think, oh, but what if this one flips? J just go. Apologies, I might stop talking a bit here because I do have to concentrate. It's a lot of jumping to do. And I don't want to cut this up. This level is a fucking ball lake, if ever there was one. Please come over here, platform. Thank you. Like, I, I think this is where I got to before when I played this in my last episode. And uh, I was trying to, like, comprehend everything that was going on level. I thought, like, up here would be the finish. But no, there's more. There's more to this. There's like actual platforms up here. I, uh, I don't want to talk about it. It, it. Honestly, it gets me mad just thinking about the time I spent trying to do this level. I'm not going to take it. That's a tough jump. This is where you got to go for speed here. Come on, come on, come on. Again, apologies for the, for the bad commentary. I'm just determined to do this first time. I do not want to cut this up at all. Get over there, get over there. Huh? Get over there. Gotta be quick here. Huh? Yes! Get in there! Fuck you, bonus room. I don't know what's in there. I've not been in there. I'm not gonna try it. No, I've done this level. We're done. We're fucking done. Get me out of here. Get me to the final boss, which I will probably also die on. The most annoying thing is, right, that's a tough level. I mean, I made it look easy because I'm like the best croc player of all time. But, uh,. You do that, my thumb is about to drop off. And then you get to this, which is the final boss. It's, it's the Baron himself. Alright? Like, here he is, getting getting fanned. He's loving life. Absolutely loving it. Uh, I guess maybe he's not loving it that much, or maybe he's loving it too much. I don't know. He's loving it. And the level beforehand to get to the boss is one of the easiest things ever. I, I appreciate that it's being kind to me after that level I just did. But it's also kind of taking the piss and or, you know, like patronizing, to be honest. Like uh, I'm better than this. I don't this is this is world one stuff right here. No one's no one's gonna die to this. Alright? It's just not gonna happen. But it does give you some some gems which I will lose almost instantly on the boss fight probably mainly because the hitboxes are just a little bit kind of fishy, Sus suspect let's say but yeah this is it, this is the lead up to the, the big bad boss how how can anyone fail here? I know it like, sounds like I'm jinxing myself but look at it that's it the main boss <laughs> is through that door I don't understand the the design of these levels sometimes. Maybe the developers just knew. You know, they knew they wanted to give me a, a bit of a break here before this boss. There are three stages to this boss. The first and third stages. I was about to say are pretty easy. I've never been hit by that attack before. The shockwave has never reached me. However, the second stage, the middle stage, I hate it. Actually hate it. And I'll, I'll show you why soon enough. It's mainly like a camera issue, I think. Come on. I missed, I missed, I missed, I missed. Come on, Toby, focus. What? What's he moaning about now? No, I need to get close to him. I've got to get closer to him. Take your time. Yes! Alright, stage one done. Now this is the ball egg one. Basically he charges at you like a ball, but the camera needs to be in a good spot for you to actually properly see it. I missed. Oh, I got him! Oh, the frames! I got the actual hitbox to work for me this time. That's sweet. Again, go do it three times. Come on, charge me. 
You won't. Oh, he's on fire. Surely. First time, boys? First time big bad boss beat? Charge, please. I can't see him now. I need to know where he is. Charge, please. Charge at me, please. Let's go! Alright, final form. This is his final form. He's all powered up now. He's going to start flying and shooting snowflakes at me. I don't really know. Here you come down. Look at his nails a little bit. I, I think I missed. I'm not too sure. It's fine. I'm going to do this. For you guys. This is for you out there. I'm on the second form because he's now shooting like double lasers. I, I think. Maybe. I don't know. And then he fires like more snowflakes. <gasps> he hit me. Actually, it's kind of good. Alright, I didn't hit him the first time. That's fine. This is it. But just one more hit. That's kind of good. I get iframes. <laughs> iframes in Croc. Unreal. Yeah! Come on! Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. I'm glad the game went silent there just to emphasize how awkward that was. We've done it. The controller is on my lap right now. I ain't touching it. I finished the game. Get wrecked, Baron. Hey, you better moan. If your stupid chainmail armor it doesn't really make any sense. Put some pants on, for God's sake. Yeah, Croc loves it. We've done it. We've done it. Alright, we didn't get every single gobbo. We didn't get every single bonus gem or go to every single bonus room. We didn't get all the jigsaw pieces. However, we did just beat the, you know, the main bad guy. The, the main villain. He's done for. At least that one, you know, that first stage of him. And because of that, we get some, some sweet cutscenes here. Which, to be honest, you know, I love Croc, but I think this is a bit over the top. I think this is a bit egotistical of the young guy. Look at him. He, he, freaking huge statue to himself. Come on, Croc. Have a bit of freaking humbleness. You know what I mean? I know the Gobbo's loving it, even though, you know, half their family's probably dead still or captured in cages somewhere, but still, I think Croc, you kind of, you're milking this just a, a teeny bit. But I do understand that you went through a lot. I went through a lot. You guys watching went through it with me, and I appreciate that. We've done this. This is a team effort. Croc's loving. He's clapping. Wait for this pose. The best pose of all time. Flex on him. What is that? Is he frozen? I don't know. But there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, the credits to Croc. It's amazing. I am so happy right now. You don't, you don't understand. Not only have I completed another game from my childhood, a uh, legit, but it's also another series on YouTube that's done. For now at least. You know, it sucks when you start a YouTube series, especially if it's like for a game that you really are looking forward to or you really want to get through it. And for one reason or another it doesn't work out, maybe it doesn't feel right for, for an LP or maybe there's some other circumstances that stop you playing it. It sucks to have unfinished projects and, and series on the channel. So to actually have a series done, amazing. And from like a, from a nostalgic point of view, I feel like I have completed, literally, a goal of mine as a kid. You know, like young, young Toby right now will be smiling. He'd be a little bit jealous that I've done it now and he couldn't do it legit as a kid. He had to cheat. But I think he'd be happy. And I'm happy. I, I, I've done that for, for me, for myself, for my younger self. It feels good. I don't think I ever saw this credit scene. This, like, this amazing credit scene. It just it never gets boring on the eyes. The music's nice. I never saw this as a kid. This is brand new to me. I've done that. We've done that. We've achieved that. However, like I say, there is actually a, a bonus fifth world. Uh, that has like the, I guess the true in <laughs> quotation marks there, the true ending. Uh, I will have to put a cheat in I think to access that, but as far as I'm concerned, this series could end now and it's done. I have closure on that, and uh, you know, at some point in the future, maybe soon, maybe not, I'll put the cheat code in and get the fifth and final world and defeat the true ending 
the true boss, get the true ending, and then it'd be done for good. But um, yeah, there you go. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have beaten Croc. Feels good to be back. Feels good to come back with some success. No frustrations. Only one death in all of that. It was, it was a dumb death as well. But, um, you know, that could have gone a lot worse. But then again, when you're playing a level for nearly two hours, you'd expect to get it right first time. So, you know, I guess it was to be expected. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate those guys who have actually stuck around during my absence. Apologies for being away for so long. Hopefully I can be a bit more consistent now and, and I guess bring some new series to you now that i finish finished Croc. But uh, yeah, I appreciate you standing by and watching. I hopefully you've enjoyed this series. Hopefully my frustrations have been funny and not too frustrating for you. Seeing how bad I am in this game. Uh, but yeah, I will see you in whatever series is next. For now though, thank you for watching. If you'd like, you can click either of these two videos to watch my content and mine. Or you can click that circular button in the middle to subscribe, if you haven't already of course. And I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot guys. Take care. Bye bye.